Hey, it's Nigel from Importing Riches with another video today and today's video is about how do you compete with dirt cheap sellers on eBay when their prices are so low. So that's supposed to be dirt cheap. <laughs> okay, well, uh, when you go to eBay and uh, if you've been on eBay for any amount of time you'll uh, uh, get familiar with the products and uh, if you're trying to sell products on eBay and let's say for example you're pretty familiar with iPhone accessories uh, and anything related to iPhone 4 or 5 even Galaxy or the uh, any type of a smartphone these days uh, and you want to get into a this type of uh, niche because you're already quite knowledgeable on it, which is what I suggest you do. Going to something that uh, you're already knowledgeable on. That way you know that uh, what's hot in the market and uh, the models that, are, that people want. And uh, that way you've got some sort of knowledge already. If you're going to a market that you've got absolutely no knowledge about, uh, it's going to be hard for you to compete. And uh, so this is the problem. You want to uh, sell iPhone cases, but uh, when you look on eBay, you see these people and they're selling iPhone cases for just ridiculously low prices. Um, and you think to yourself, well, there's no way I can compete. I mean, they're selling iPhone cases for five to six dollars. With free shipping, um, you know, how, how are you supposed to turn a profit? And then you got to pay eBay fees, PayPal fees. There's not much room to move in it. And see, look at all these sellers here. And you'll find that. Uh, let's just go into uh, this one here. What's happening now a lot on eBay is there. Uh, there's a lot of. Uh, sellers doing two things they're either getting it directly from the uh, you know China supplier in China factory in China and then they're selling it on eBay so what happens is that they're essentially they're drop shipping but the drop shipper is overseas not in the country so what they do is they list it on eBay and um, when they sell it they just send an email to the supplier in China and then the, the supply will uh, send the goods directly to the uh, customer but the problem is when you're dealing with um, things like uh, iPhone, um, iPhone cases the, the profit margin is too small and the, and the uh, postage is, is it's going to cost you more from you know it's going to cost the supplier more you do it with uh, more expensive items so what they do is they just import a bunch of these uh, iPhone cases and they pick these up for 50 cents to a dollar each um, and they just basically sell them in volume but they're not they're not um, they're not actually making much profit on the actual item itself where they make the profit is through the shipping and you know, it's it's a dirty little secret with eBay sellers. You know, it's they've been doing it for since dawn of eBay, but they try to hide the they put see for example this one here, I'm not saying this particular seller is doing this, but let's just break it down and see what they're doing. So this one here, they're selling this case for four dollars fifty five with free economy shipping delivery. From outside the uh, America, Australia, so, so how, how the how the hell can they deliver this um, case for four dollars fifteen and still make a profit? Well, what they do is they get this case probably from the factory themselves. See this this guy here has got a lot of feedback, so I'd say this is a, either a factory or it's a uh, uh, like a wholesaler that gets like you know they work out of a office 
in a basement and then the, they just ring up their friends up the road that run this factory and they get these things for 50 cents, 25 cents uh, and then they got the uh, shipping which they would also get a bulk discount on so there's not much profit in there there's, there's probably very minimal profit you know, I, I would say that less than a dollar profit in, in this actual item but see when you're talking about volume see this uh, this this seller here is doing massive volume so one dollar mightn't seem like much but this this guy here sold three thousand only four thousand feedback not everyone leads feedback with eBay uh, I would say based on my experience only fifty percent lead feedback so you can see where they're t they're turning over you know roughly eight to ten thousand dollars worth of uh, product even if they sold it for a dollar um, profit by the time they take out the fees and all that sort of stuff so that's how they do it they just do just do massive volume and just pump these things out the other way also is uh, they hide the profit in the shipping and um, also what they do is when they send um, the uh, these out what I'll do is I'll um, send you like a, um, another offer inside the actual when you get receive your uh, receive your goods to more of a high ticket item so you know they'll they'll try to sell you on other things like um, more cases batteries accessories and um, so they're just basically using this as a way to build up their database of customers and then what they'll do is then they'll email those those customers for for forever forever more until they make the bigger profit so this is just like a lead gen so um, there's a lot of tactics involved in eBay I, I don't do eBay like I used to I uh, used to do eBay in quite high volume and there are a lot of dirty tricks so just be aware that if you want to get onto eBay um, you have to really know your product and know what your competition is and uh, then you can then position yourself whether you want to compete on price or you want to compete on um, uh, just offering more value and having your uh, have your local pickups and things like that where you're not competing on price because people will still buy off you even if you're twice as expensive they'll still buy off you if you're locally because then they know they can just come to your location pay for the item see you face to face and give you money instead of sending their money over to um, a foreign country like Hong Kong even though this seller here would have says sold thousands and, the, and this seller's feedback is very good there's still people that will prefer not to send their money there and, and pay face to face so that's how, you, that's how you, another way you can compete on it so that's enough for me I'm, uh, I'm off if you want some more information on how to import products just head over to importenriches.com